Okay, so you've built this great web space, and you need to add content to it. And so part of adding content, right, is adding pictures. So you're saying to yourself, oh man, I gotta get these pictures, I gotta upload them to the computer, it's gonna be awesome, but how do I edit them so they look cool? Well, an easy way to edit pictures, especially if you can't afford or don't have Photoshop, is using a free online photo software called Pixlr. So this tutorial is all about how you use that, and basically how to use it to transform your pictures into something that you can put online, something that's really useful and working. Let's check it out. The first thing to know about using Pixlr, or using any photo editing software, is that these things work in three dimensions. So where at one point in time, when you edit a picture and you think about it, you probably think about it in two dimensions, um, you know, X and Y. Um, basically, uh, in photo editing software, it's more of a three-dimensional process. You still have X, you still have Y, but you also have these layers that go on top of it and build outward. It's more like collaging than drawing, per se. You're stacking things on top of each other, and some of them will block the other things. So the first thing to understand, aside from using the main tools on a photo editing software, is understanding how layers work and how to manipulate layers. Hi, this is going to be a little bit of a video tutorial on how to use Pixlr. Um, Pixlr is a, a photo editing software that works from your browser. Um, basically, I'm going to go through some, some basic things. In this tutorial right now, I'm going to kind of walk you around and show you some basic things on Pixlr. Uh, how to get to it, how to upload stuff to it, um, you know, what layers are, basic stuff. So first thing to do is to go to your, your line up here, your browser, and go to Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. And I recommend that you use the Pixlr Advanced Editor, which is the first one, but they have some other ones down here. Use this one. So click on it, and wait for things to load. Um, and then the first thing you're going to get is this create a new image, open image from your computer, open image from URL, open image from library. Uh, the best way to go is, for now is just to go create a new image. Um, it's really easy. Just do that. Um, new image. You get to set your, your boundaries here. Let's just use 800 by 600 uh, and hit OK. And this is the image thing. And you'll see if I stretch out the screen, you'll only see the image canvas as I stretch it out. See, this is the part of the image that I can use. Um, and I can increase. And if I decrease it beyond that canvas, I get these little scroll bars that help me move around on it. And you can see me scrolling in the navigator, which shows the whole of the canvas. See me moving left, right, left, right. All right, um, there's some other cool stuff here. Uh, other important things to note while you're here are that here's a toolbar. There's a bunch of tools that you can use. Most important for this series of tutorials will be the cropping tool, the arrow tool, the selecting tool, and the lasso tool. This is kind of like your scissors tool. It's how you move stuff around. It's how you uh, move to a smaller bit of the canvas. This is how you select things with very traditional shapes. Of course, you get some drawing tools and some like color select tools, text tools. Uh, magnifying tool to zoom. You can also use this down here. Change your zoom. Go to 200%. Go back to 100%. Color selection tools. And then layers. Um, because this is a uh, photo software, things work in layers. Uh, so basically, let's say I sketch something on the board here. Let's just use this easy drawing tool. Look at that. This beautiful thing I'm sketching. Woo! So let's say I do that. That's on the background layer. Then if I go to layer, can I new layer? And now maybe let's go choose a brush. The thing about uh, me doing layers is if I put down some text, say I click here to add some text, uh, stock text. Wow. All right, so let's we get this. Let's make it nice and big and bright. Increase the size. Make it bold, of course. And then let's make it uh, get red. Right. Hit OK. Of course, the color doesn't seem to like to select. Ridge. There we go. So once you select the thing in here, you can go to this box, 
choose your color, hit OK. All right, so cool. We've got stock text while. And that is one of the layers. Here's the background layer. And then, of course, there's these hidden layers also, uh, layer two especially. So now you see if I click on, let's show you this. So these are three dimensional. So if I click on layer two, now you can't see the text. But if I want to see that text, if I move it above layer two on the layer selector, like that, it will come up. Of course, I can grab it, move it around like this, woo, drop it wherever I want. And of course, I can also add these other layers on top of it. So that's another layer that I put on top of things. I can even put the stock text layer behind this layer. So it's all about thinking three-dimensionally when it comes uh, to figuring out your layers. All right, so that's kind of the big thing here is setting up a canvas, understanding that layers are three-dimensional things that you can drag on top of each other, and then edit individually. So I can treat like this, if I want to treat this uh, stock text layer, if I bring it back up, I can give it any filter I want. Like I can give it a blur. Uh, I, at least it should should blur. Uh, so let's see, noise, view, filter. I know I can do the pixel thing, pixelize. Of course, now it doesn't want to work. Great. Uh, bleh. All right, so I will have stopped this video by the time you're watching again. Now that you've seen how to manipulate layers, it's time to look at some more in-depth things. How do you import photos, and how do you work with those to cut and paste and modify them into something more coherent? Thanks for watching, and please check out the next part of this video tutorial series.